Yeah, look, uh, <laughs> I'm not a big BMW fan, but we had to do this sometime, right? <laughs> so there's no better way than to do this with the BMW M5. This is honestly a car that I would be scared of in racing it, even with one of the fastest Audis. So yeah, just to let you guys know, I'm an Audi fan. BMW is my rival, even though it's Germany. Germany, it doesn't matter. BMW absolutely hate the scars. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so here we go we have got the m5 in front of us and now to let you guys know is that i believe that this is probably the fastest tune out there for the bmw m5 this is basically the fastest that this car will ever go so that is what i am claiming what you guys can do is if you have an m5 already uh at the end of the video i'm quickly gonna go on a drag strip i'm gonna give you my time and then i want you to actually go and compare your bmw m5 against mine and let me know if yours is faster or not so i spent about an hour to two hours more like an hour to an hour and a half uh busy just doing the same run over and over just working on that fine tuning to make it as fast as possible so how i'm gonna do this video is i'm gonna divide it in three uh part number one is i'm gonna show you guys everything that i've upgraded on the bmw part number two is my tune and then part number three is the drag race so also just to let you know i'm gonna put a share link uh, sorry a share code for the tune in the description so yeah basically you can just go if you're happy with it and it is faster you can just go and download it straight you can put in the share code and just buy everything it will do everything what it's supposed to do to get it to my m5 and your car will just be as fast as mine all right, so let's quickly go over it. So we're gonna go to upgrades and tuning, uh, custom upgrades, and basically before we go over there, let me quickly talk to you guys about the engine. So I had three options. I had the stock option, uh, which were kind of powerful, 447 kilowatts, but obviously the 5.2 liter was a bit stronger. But as soon as you kind of like upgraded, there it did the three liter inline six turbo, the 2JZ motor, uh, yeah, or maybe it's the the N54, N55 motor because it's BMW. Uh, yeah, it was just a superior, a superior one out of all of them with 947, call it 900, uh, 950 kilowatts with 1,223 newton meters and weighs about one and a half tons. And basically, the displacement is 3.4 liters. Okay, then for the drivetrain, uh, I believe this is X drive, which is all wheel drive in this case, and we kept it as is. We did not go to rear wheel drive. Uh, yeah, it just feels to me like all wheel drive is superior. <laughs> Going over to the engine, we basically, all of these things, we just upgraded it to, to max, but we'll quickly work through it. Uh, then going to the turbo and also yeah just to let you know that this is the race turbo then you get the race turbo with anti with anti lag uh both of them gives you basically the same kilowatts i, I just don't want those pops and bangs anyway going over to displacement as you guys can see we got the race engine block okay so let's quickly go to the brakes for the suspension we went with the race springs it's freaking doing excellently good uh car basically doesn't even spin at all it just hooks and launches Going over to the anti-roll bars, just to let you guys know, I installed them. It actually drops the weight, which is kind of... Yeah, it's kind of interesting to know why. I, I don't know why. Maybe the one that is there is heavier than the performance ones. Maybe it's carbon fiber or something. <laughs> I don't know. We did not install any uh, roll cage as it just adds weight. And obviously for the weight reduction, we went to max. Going over to the transmission, let's quickly go through it quick. We got the race clutch transmission. We went with the seven speed. Just to let you know, I used six gears to go through the uh, the drag track uh, at the festival. And then the seventh gear will be for top end if you want to go play with your friends on the highway. Uh, so basically, I tried to make the drag race the seven gears. It actually slowed me down. So it looks like this engine doesn't like too much shifting. It likes to just stay in the power band of long gears. Going to the uh, driveline was race and the diff is also race. <clears throat> Going to the mags, for the wheels, obviously we have got drag tire compound, which is slicks. For the front tire, we actually went with no upgrade at all. Uh, basically, the tire width is big enough. Uh, so yeah, most of the power, I think it's 75% of the power is going to the rear, which means we don't actually need so much grip in the front because only 25% of the power is going to the front. 
Then for us to go to the back, I went with the big Godzilla ones, 325s. <laughs> but also to let you know, this car is hooking like mad. Uh, keeping it as is, you can actually drop it to maybe 315 and see how it does. You can actually like go to 305s. Trust me, this car hooks amazingly. So you can actually, by going to a smaller tire, as you guys can see, you can save weight. This is 1533. 1531, so you save 2 kilograms and 1 kilogram. So you can play around there if you really want to go into so much depth. Uh, I basically just spent so much time on the tune and basically got a good setup on the car already. So going to the max, we're not going to go in there. Just choose the max that weighs the least. My game just always froze when I go in there. For this over here, you can choose. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. For the rim size, yeah, we don't we don't adjust that at all it just makes your car heavier just to show you guys look at we are 1533 1534 so basically we pick up a kilogram by taking it up a little bit then for the aerodynamics we did not do anything uh yeah we don't have any aerodynamic parts installed going over to our tune all right so this is the interesting part this is the part you guys have been waiting for so the front is two bar and the rear is 1.5 bar now why the heck would i do that once again the car hooks really good i can even adjust it actually a little bit more but i decided to leave it as is okay so then to let you guys know that um the softer your tire pressure is so the lower it is the more grip you have but the problem with that is is that it affects your top end speed so let's say you would have finished in 259 kilometers per hour uh with two bar with one bar you might have finished at like 245 kilometers per hour so you do lose kilometers per hour on the run so you have to find that middle point where you do have enough grip but just not too much grip and then 1.5 also going to our our gearing here is our gearing 3.7 4.25 you guys can take a screenshot once again the share code will be in the description so you guys can just go there and take it copy it or whatever and yeah so anyway going to our our camber we got minus 0 0.4 positive 0 0.6 0 0 7 anti roll bars both is that stiff uh, i even dropped it it felt like the car just like it didn't care about the anti roll bars going to our springs we got more stiffer to the front and a bit softer at the back it's just to give that car that nice squat going to the right height the car loves being low as soon as you take it up ah, the car doesn't like that going to the damping as you guys can see it's uh stiff 20 rear is more towards the softer which is 10 10 20 aero we don't have any aerodynamics for the brake i always like to put 70 65 percent brake force to the front and 35 percent brake force to the rear and brake pressure is about 80 i did not fine tune this it's just the basic standard that i always do Differential 100, 0, 100, 0, and as I was saying, 75% to the rear. All right, so now that we have this sorted, let's quickly go and do a drag race, and I can show you guys how fast this car is actually on a freaking drag strip. Okay, and I would just love to let you guys know as well. Uh, basically, what I did was I tuned the car in automatic because obviously when you shift manually, there's so many driver errors that can fall in place. So the tune is basically extremely good as is. I believe if you go over to manual mode, your car might even be a little bit faster just for reason that you can actually push your car a bit further in the red before it limits out. Obviously, yeah, we cannot adjust the transmission as yet. Okay, let's send the car. Horrible, horrible, absolutely horrible. 14.734. Okay, that's actually average. I average 734, 733. My best was 700. Uh, but it would have been better. But did you guys see how I just like ran all over the freaking road? Anyway, that is still very good. So please do go and test your M4, M5, sorry. Uh, and let me know your quarter mile times. I would just love the comparison to see how much, if it is better by how much better it is. Once again, I spent a lot of time and effort in this uh, car. And I wouldn't just go and make this video if I didn't thought that this tune is actually very good also one thing i must say this game is spot on please look at the exhaust system do you guys see it's actually dirty 
Yeah, the piston rings are done. It <laughs> seems like about right. BMW problems. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, BMW fanboys. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I should have actually, now that I thought about it, made this BMW slower. Uh, yeah, Audi for the win. Anyway, guys, enough pulling your leg. I'll see all of you legends in my next video. But for now, peace out.